what is going on kid family welcome back to the channel just earlier moments ago i was cleaning out this garage so we could center stack this motor gm motor right here in the middle where we have ambient lighting so our video production is a little bit better it's winter time it's freezing it's cold i can't paint any more rust-oleum projects so what am i gonna do well you guessed it looks like we're gonna mess around with the motor now one thing I'm gonna be answering on this video is why in the world did I pick up a motor? For those of you on YouTube, you might think this is my first motor that you guys see right now, but honestly, this is the third motor that I have picked up and bought over the last couple of years. And, and the reason I keep buying these motors, the reason is... Because I have no girlfriend. <sighs> no, on a serious note, the reason I keep buying these motors is because I'm single. <sighs> the reason I keep buying these motors is because there's something pulling me in, into cars in general, into the performance, into turbos, into power, just raw horsepower, man. I don't know if you guys ever been in a fast car before, but that experience of having all that power under your foot is just amazing. And that's what we strive to do. We wanna have a quick car, we wanna have a stylish car. It's just the automotive world, automotive community. Well. Obviously, I don't come from any background that's automotive, so this is all a hobby to me. I'm a hobbyist for the automotive world. So I picked up three motors before. The first motor was a D-Series Honda engine. The second motor was a Honda D-Series engine. I actually got both of those motors at the same time somebody came, dropped them off uh, for 50 bucks. You believe that? The guy just bear hugged the whole motor. It was a big dude bear hug the whole thing and I tried to take everything apart you know I tried to learn on it and that's the that's the goal of this whole thing why else would I get an engine just to sit here take up space and look at it nah man down the road eventually I would hope and love to build my own motor specifically geared towards boost so the first two motors I had I took the first one apart hydro lock the pistons everything was just rusted I ended up unhydro locking it in a way i took it apart i cleaned it got the pistons out cleaned the block and then i ended up selling that motor for like another 30 or 40 bucks and then the second motor i tried to take apart i took apart the head i noticed that one of the valves was bent or chipped and then once i started going into the bottom of the motor into the oil pan the oil pan was stripped i couldn't take the bolts out so i couldn't really assess the bottom end assembly of that engine and I ended up parting out the oil pan for somebody that was doing a turbo build. He's gonna do the, the oil bung on that. And then I sold the, the remaining of that engine to a group of guys that actually create turbo manifolds for their company. And they were actually racing in Great Lakes Dragway. They have a competition. I, th I think it was called Import Face Off or something. I'm not exactly sure. I forgot the company name. This was at least eight years ago. And uh, it was cool. It was cool. They, they were mocking up a turbo manifold for the single, single overhead cam. Then the third motor I picked up was actually a GM motor. And now we got another GM motor. The third engine was a GM 3.8 liter. Came in all sorts of cars I don't even know. Uh, naturally aspirated v6 they had their share of problems that that's the same motor that they uh supercharged they had a supercharger on in the gxp pontiacs and stuff so that was a pain i picked that motor up by myself i think i paid 20 bucks for that motor it was a whole long block too and it had some accessories on it and uh yeah iron block ladies and gentlemen that was an iron block with uh aluminum heads so you can imagine how heavy that sucker was. But me and my buddy, we both managed to pick it up. Uh, we had it in our yard actually covered up in a tarp for the longest time, over two years. And it's like, when I had some free time, I would go mess around, wrench on a little bit. I ended up taking the valve cover off. I think I was taking off the exhaust manifolds and I was getting close to taking off the heads. But that oil, that motor was leaking really bad all over the driveway. I keep get, getting crap from the old folks about it. I think I was going to school at that time and I just couldn't, I, I didn't have the time, the dedication to finish that motor. So that motor went for a 12 pack of beer and I kept drinking that beer. And drinking that beer. 
Anyway, that leads me to my next newest engine right over here, guys. This is my newest four cylinder engine. It comes on a pallet. It's actually, this is probably the best motor I picked up. And uh, yeah, let's see, look, looks in pretty good shape. I have no idea about this motor or anything about this motor. I started doing some research about these engines right now so I can actually tell you guys a little bit of information for the next video about this engine. But yeah, I just wanted to share a quick story why the hell I picked this motor up, why I keep buying these motors, and uh, is anything ever gonna become of me building an engine, you know? So in this series, I'm gonna label a playlist called GM Engine Rebuild. And essentially what we're gonna be doing with this motor for you guys interested, we're gonna be learning as we go. And whatever I learn, whatever information I know, I'm gonna share with you guys. And hopefully you guys interested in, in this engine or in engine building in general, you guys can chime in on the things I'm doing wrong, things I need to look out for, because again, I've never done this. I don't even have like a rebuild manual or anything. I'm gonna try to print something out online, but I'm just gonna go with the flow. This motor, guys, I picked up for dirt cheap. It was a great transaction. So, you know, I, there's no loss, even if I do screw anything up. Most certainly, this engine can be rebuilt, definitely. Uh, they did have a few common problems and i think that's what the problem would be but we don't know we don't know what the problem is until we open this puppy up which we will be doing uh, over the coming months uh the the, the thing that i want to do and accomplish with this engine is you know slowly take everything apart re record everything for you guys and for myself that way i know where everything goes and every how everything was so i can keep track of it we're going to dissect the motor find out what the problem was then we are going to be pretty much reinstalling everything into this engine i got no engine stand i got nothing we're just going to do it right as it is right over here with what i got now we're going to be checking the piston clearances the rod clearances and all that pretty much like i said everything you would do when you're building a performance engine or any engine you want to double check the specs you want to do it right so we're going to take those steps rebuilding this motor with the factory parts that it has in it and what i'm trying to accomplish by doing so is just getting a feel for things of engine building what what's involved the truth behind it i'm gonna tell you guys how it is i'm not gonna bullshit you and give you like a two minute video of how i rebuilt this whole motor nah, because it's not that easy so hopefully you guys enjoy the content that i'm gonna provide hopefully you guys can uh, chime in whatever you guys need to chime in uh solo brothers i believe that's your name on youtube He's rebuilding a motor like this on his SS. So hopefully your brother can chime in some information for me for this engine. And the, yeah, man, we'll, we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys staying to the end. Hearing out my story. Why the hell I picked up three, four motors. Is there going to be more motors? I don't know. But hopefully, hopefully this comes out okay. And I, I don't get bored of it and, and just flip it like I usually do. I can't keep things. I don't know what's going on with me, man. I can't keep things. But I, I got my Civic. Hell yeah. Civic running strong. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys. Peace. Thanks for watching. Hey, hey, hey. And don't forget to like that video, man. Come on. Help out the algorithm out, man. My boy, I'm trying to make some money on here, too. You know, maybe get a real engine, get a real build, turbocharged, break some records. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. Might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you Come along and see it's true But the world